Good morning, everyone. My name is Brett Burns. I work at Owsley County Schools. I actually spend a lot of time in both schools, but at the high school I teach, grades 7 through 12. I teach technology and engineering, uh, which is our technology education course, which is our vocational programs and our career and technical education program there at Owsley County High School. Uh, last year, I had written an ARI grant for some 3D printing technologies. And this year, I would kind of continued that program, and, and this was this was my last year's title, and we went with this uh, hands-on, minds-on pro project, and the idea was that I was refining the existing lab that we had. Now, initially, we bought a 3D printer. We had we had a kit that went with that 3D printer, and we had a 3D scanner, and that was the technology that we used. And my students could create real-world products that could create 3D representations of models that we had made in our drafting segments. So in other words, my students would draft and design something in, in three-dimensional software, and then we would print that item. I already had some existing measurement tools like digital calipers and things of that nature that I bought previously on an ARI grant. Uh, and we also use our real-world softwares that are available online free for students like Google SketchUp and Autodesk AutoCAD, which is available to all students through your um, technology programs. Uh, this was the product that I purchased. I initially wrote a grant for this product. It retailed at $998, and that's what I wrote the grant for. Uh, this was our, our Dremel 3D printer. It's Dremel's new 3D printer. It's called a 3D40, I think, Dream Builder. I think is what they called it, the Idea Builder, or the Dream Builder, or something like that. Um, I We went to order it. I wrote the grant. It was $1,000. I was good to go. I went and wrote the grant, and the secretary called me back uh, from the Board of Education and said, Mr. Burns, I can't find the $998 3D printer. So I freaked out. It was out of stock, out of stock everywhere, so I couldn't find it. And in about three days, it came back into stock on a company on Amazon, which we're, we're allowed to purchase through, for $265. So I bought it. And our 3D printer cost $265, and the remainder of the grant we bought resources to use, like our filaments. And um, one of the things that they don't sell you is this little building plate has a removable uh, tape on it to make things come off clearer. And I bought some of those things so we could actually use, use the tool itself. And the goal was simply to teach our students uh, how to use precision 3D printers. Our first one, it worked down to a... It was a tenth of a millimeter. Our new one works down to a hundredth, so we can print very, very fine, very, very high quality representations of things. We have access to a HP Sprout computer, which has some really high resolution 3D scanning technology. I can modify things to be used in our special education classrooms. We can redesign things, and we can actually design in 3D in my classroom. So my students do projects like uh, they had the option to use our 3D printing software and our lab here to build a better mouse trap. Uh, we designed some hobbyist equipment like some hiking equipment and some camping gear, some fishing baits, things of that nature because those are the students that I get, the students that are interested in those things. So those were some of the things we made. We made some fishing lures and things like that that we could show what, how the design worked to make it move in the water and, and things of that nature. So it was a really interesting program. Uh, the, the picture that's supposed to be on this slide is the one on the left. Uh, my three high school courses were the students that had access to our 3D printing technology, and they could modify projects that we were already working on. Now, on the left, which was the picture that I actually wanted you to see, and then I'm going to talk about the one on the right, was a broken piece of technology that we had. This was the foot off of a piece of band equipment, and we actually designed replacement feet for it, rubber feet, so it would stay balanced, and we printed them and put them on. That's one actually in the shop. And then my students had access to my other ARI grant equipment, which was some some tools, some actual bench top lab tools like sanders and band saws and drill presses and things of that nature to further modify the things that they created. So the impact and it went away. Let me click on this again. 
my impact was that my, my students had that access. It really raised the engagement with my students. My students were not just designing things in 3D and then saving a file and emailing it to me. They could actually print it out. I had one student that printed out his fishing lures and actually took them on a fishing trip and tried those. So it was a really interesting program, and it really raised my student engagement with my high school students that sometimes can be reluctant in their, their work. So thank you all very much.